communities fussing about the trucks being parked down there, and then the truck drivers are fussing because they can't take this certain route. And the problem was no one ever brought the two together to explain it to them. So by me working with the port drivers and me being from West Oakland, I started trying to bring the two together. And the coalition, I seen what purpose everyone had together. It was a bringing together, and we basically formed like a family. I think for a long time there's been a lot of tension. We have been pitted against one another by kind of corporate industry and they make us choose. They say, well, do you want the environment saved or do you want good jobs? And I think we're coming to a crux around sustainability and climate change where we're saying, no, you can't force us to choose. We need both. We need to change the way that we live and the way that we do business where we not only have um, good jobs, but we also have clean air where we not only have clean air, but we have good jobs. The system doesn't care for either the truck drivers or the residents, and that residents and truck drivers often face a lot of the same problems around um, lack of sustainability of their you know, job security, the health issues for residents are the same for the truck drivers in their cabs, and that as we started to look at it, that the systemic issue around um, the the classification of truck drivers as independent contractors was a huge problem for both environmental regulation and putting the burden on truck drivers instead of the big guys like Walmarts and Targets who could afford the environmental regulation. You know, they should be the ones paying for it since they were the ones making the profit. When we started to see things like that and that the truck drivers, when they realized that they don't want one in five children in West Oakland to have asthma, they don't want their own kids to have asthma, they didn't want asthma that these are things that we could work together on. The owner operators, they don't have any, they can't form a union because of deregulation. So what we're trying to do is change the classification from owner operator to where they can become employees. Right now they can't become employees because as owner operators, everyone's like a separate company. They can't take a day off. They don't have any um, disability, the majority of them. If they do, they have to pay for it themselves. A lot of them are living in the trucks. They have to pay for the um, maintenance on the trucks. They work 12 to 13 hours a day. They make um, whatever the broker wants to pay them, they pay them. It's a race to the bottom. When I say a race to the bottom, you got 10 men, right? You haven't worked in three days. I've worked every day this week. They asked me to take a load for $200. I say no. You haven't worked in three days, you don't know when you're going to get work, so they tell you 100 You take a load 50, 60 miles for $100, basically all you did is put fuel in your truck to take a ride and come back. This happens with a lot of the drivers. For folks outside of the labor movement who are not a member of a union at this point in time, there is not necessarily an assumption that labor is working towards their benefit or has some relevancy in their lives. This campaign brings together a number of different issues that shows that they're intertwined, first of all, mm -hmm. and that labor has a legitimate interest in issues beyond just their own immediate membership in a particular local mm -hmm. or a particular mm -hmm. craft or trade or whatever. And I think it's showing that interest and showing the interdependence in, in being able to address even non-labor issues as part of their labor agenda is going to be important for the future of labor to grow and to thrive. If we do win, that it will be a time where we can point to this and say, see, this is where this whole green jobs idea, it works. This is what we mean when we say green jobs. We're not just talking about the energy sector. We're talking about every job, every job that happens in this country and in this world needs to be union, needs to be sustainable, needs to be environmental, environmentally safe, that that's what the future looks like. And I think this campaign is the start of that.